Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how you can professionally paint your jig heads. And you guys could do this at your home using powder paint and a conventional oven. So let's go. Welcome to my first episode of T-Day. T-Day is a video that I'll try to release every Thursday to provide you guys tackle techniques tips, topics that you guys want me to talk about in order to improve your fishing game. Like I said, today is gonna be my very first episode and today we'll be painting jigs using powder. So let's get to it. So other than Protec, which you guys could get these from like Bass Pro Shop, about 10 bucks a, a little jar, this is two ounces and it'll last you for a very long time. You of course need some jig heads. I got some cheap jig heads right here. This is also from Bass Pro Shop. This is 1 16th ounce. And I like the gold ones because it's like the thin barbed wires and if I get snagged, I snagged, I could try to bend the hook out and once you straight, straighten the shank, it usually get loose and I could bend the shank back and the lure is free. Another thing you may need, depending what you're gonna do with jig heads, I personally go to tie marabou jigs. So what I need to do if I'm gonna tie some sort of fly uh, on material onto the jig is that you gotta clip the little bait thingy, the little a nudge right here that save the bait because this thing gets in your way from tying your lures um, make it look pretty so you get a nice nail clipper and you can just technically clip that little piece off and it should be good to go the first step is to lay out some paper this will make the cleaning process a lot easier if there were some sort of spill I got plenty of different paint so it comes in a variety of colors guys I got some chartreuse, black, you know, here's some, some colors I mainly use, all right? But today, I'm gonna just use this one to show you guys how to do the painting, so I'm gonna put the rest away. Also, I need some candle to heat up your jig head, because the way that you paint these jig head is you gotta heat up your jig head, and then you gotta dip it into the paint. So a couple of other useful things that you could use is one, some sort of a needle thing, so you can stir up your paint, some people like to shake the bottle, but that's just gonna cause things to, you know, get in the atmosphere, especially when you open the jar, the lid. I mean, you can shake it, uh, maybe like a couple minutes before you um, you start your project, so that it does get fluffed up. But I like to have this uh, in handy dandy, just maybe a big chopsticks or some sort of a wire. Of course, you're gonna need some sort of pliers to hold on to your jig head, because it's gonna get a little hot. I need something to hold my jig as it's cooling down. So I am gonna use this guy right here, it's just my male. A holder what I'll do is I'm just gonna uh, hang the jig on the side as it cools if you guys like to paint your own jigs and own lures you guys can make your own um, hook hanger a lot of people use like some sort of a styrofoam block and then they take a clothes hanger and they just bend it into shape and stab it into the foam blocks and then you have a rack all right guys so I'm gonna take this first jig head right here and like I said I don't need this little nub right here so I'm gonna clip that off. It makes my um, fly tying a little later a little easier. But if you guys are gonna use uh, this jig head or whatever jig you have for other lures and you need it, then just keep it on. But again, this is for my personal sakes. Grab my steer, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna fluff it up. I can, I can tell that it's not fluff, it's, uh, there's resistance. But as, as you keep stirring it up, right? You can feel that it's almost like quicksand, you know, just dip it in and that, that's it. That's what you want. You want the top part to be like that. As you see, as I stir it up a little bit, it kind of raised because I'm softening it up. All right. And then you put that on the side. All right. So you ready for this, guys? You take your jig head. All right. You take the flame. You want to heat it for a couple seconds, like maybe five, uh, five to ten seconds. Dip it in, shake it off, boom, look at that. Look how smooth that is. It's crazy, isn't it? So what you want to do is let it cool down a couple seconds so it doesn't get too sticky. And then you just hang it somewhere, just like that and you just keep painting. And once you finish painting, this is not done yet. You actually need to bake these jig heads. So let me do some painting and I'm gonna get back to you with the baking of 
the jig heads. All right, so we are done painting. So I am gonna take the rack of painted jigs and put it off the side and let's clean up the desk. And it's very simple. So the paper that we laid down held all the lead that I cut up and all the powder that kind of went out of place. All you have to do is fold it up. I'm also gonna wipe my little stick that I use for uh, stirring up the powder paint. Now fold up the paper and I can throw this out very easily. Everything is clean and the wife is happy. So the next part is you gotta start baking your jig heads at 325 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes depending how much jigs and how thick they are and how much paint you have on there. These are very thin. I personally think 10 to 15 minutes would be more than enough. So I set my temperature to 325 and I need to start toasting it. But before I do that, of course you wanna hang these guys here. And I usually hang them on the highest settings. So that's all you have to do. So line these guys up. Guess you guys can spread it out pretty good. Line it up, line it up. I don't have that much today, so I'll just spread it all apart. Green pumpkin is by far my favorite, especially springtime guys. Especially for those who do opening day fishing and uh, for trout that is. And it's still dark in the morning, especially in springtime, right? So they like the more natural and darker colors. And then as the sun progresses uh, throughout the day, what you wanna do is fish brighter colors. But anyway, that's it, put it in. I put it 15 minutes. I might go this a little more because it's preheating. So I'll take one out once this is done and show you guys how it looks like. All right, so it is now done. Let me try to make sure it's not super duper hot. All right, it's, it's pretty good. Let me just take this guy right here. So nice and hot, but guys, you guys take a look at this. It's very smooth. I'm gonna take my nail and see if I scrape stuff off. I'm scraping really, really hard. I'm trying to put a dent on it. So I did put a small little dent on it, but it didn't scratch off. This baking process uh, does make it very, very nice and strong. So it's, it's better than just regular paint, in my opinion, especially if you got to be trout fishing, you'd be bouncing into rocks and stuff like that. This is how, I guess, most of professional jig painting is done. It's really powder paint. So guys, this is how I paint my jig heads using powder paint. I really believe that some certain fish colors does play a huge role. Uh, big, big, big fish that I love fishing since I was a kid, fishing trout, and they, they love you know, they're picky with colors. They love certain colors, certain time of day or, you know, conditions. So that's why I paint my jig heads. If you guys have any topics that you guys want me to talk about for the next episode of Tea Day, leave me a comment below and suggest some ideas. And let's see what I come up with for next week. If you guys really enjoyed this episode of Tea Day, make sure you guys hit the like button. And if this is the first time you guys here watching my videos, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. And until next time guys, the fish don't wait. Get out there, catch some fish. Let's go.